Thank you so very much for joining me today from the living room, from the panic zone. <laughs> okay, so today is Tuesday. <clears throat> I have my first like big craft beer Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm almost there <laughs> time wise. Um, project wise, I'm not sure. I thought I had all the things together and now I'm kind of questioning everything. Um, I'm taking some of the LuLaRoe things so that'll take up a little bit of space. I think tonight we're going to set the tables up and see kind of how it looks. Um, I took an inventory. I've just been crocheting. I got my Crojo back, y'all. We were worried about that there for a minute. The whole not having Crojo. I found it because that's all I've been doing. Um, my Shits Creek shirt with my Shits Creek notebook. <laughs> I have um, inventory and I wrote it all out. It wasn't as great as I thought. I know a lot of my inventory um, was like knitted hats from this intro and knitted scarves. Um, it's gonna be like 80, 90 degrees. I don't think that's those are probably gonna be a real hot item. Um, well, you know, literally, I suppose, but I don't think that anyone's really gonna be like too into that. So I think I was gonna put him in like a little bucket at the, like on the bottom somewhere, maybe, if I even set him out, I don't know. So without all the hats and stuff, um, that didn't leave me with a whole lot. I had four large bees, three medium bees, two small bees. And bees are like my biggest seller. I'm like, so this is a big event and it's three days long. <laughs> Two monsters, large ones, four medium and four small. One mushroom and four small mushrooms. That's all. Three octopus, two sunshines, only one gnome. Um, three large squids, two medium squids. As far as succulents, which are one of my biggest sellers, I just had one of each kind. <laughs> I had a bee backpack buddy, an octopus backpack buddy, and four monster backpack buddies. Only seven scrunchies. <laughs> Nine baby hats, some baby blankets, um, and just like four or five tops. So not at all what I thought, um, <clears throat> which stinks. So I have been making things, been getting the things completed. Um, I thought I'd show some of those to you also in the last little bit. Um, we've been bringing yarn in from the crafting caravan. I have a rainbow in the bedroom again, um, yarn rainbow. The reason I'm not in front of you right now is because um, the kiddos are with their grandma. Derek is at work. I'm just watching random movies and crocheting. So I'm in the living room doing that. So. Um, I thought I would just go sh through and kind of show you some of the newer things that I've made. And then maybe in a couple days we'll just do like craft beer inventory. But this can be like crochet ramblings, craft beer edition. And I can just show you guys kind of what I've made. So, okie doke. So, um, they said succulents are one of my biggest sellers. Um, they are a pretty hot item. I do not like making the pots at the bottom. I have, like I said, one of each. Um, so I have four kinds. I have um, a hen and chick, a string of pearls, an aloe, and a cactus. Um, all with the crochet bottoms. And I have a whole bunch, or not a whole bunch, I have several tops. Like plant parts made. I just don't have the pot part made because it's no fun. And so Derek and I were talking, it's like, why not just get real pots? And then I don't have to do it. And so I'm not sure, you know, I wasn't really sure how much they were, how much of a difference it would make. We went to the dollar twenty-five, it's dollar twenty-five at this point tree. Um 
Oh, they had clay pots too for a dollar. And so I was just like, yeah, okay, for that I'll not make it. And I think it makes them look even cuter. <laughs> so this is the hidden chick. I need to stitch, whoop, stitch it together. I just did dirt. A little bit of stuffing just because. And then the dirt. And then I want to stitch the hidden chick on top. And then and there you go. And then I have a string of pearls also. I'm going to make a few more pearls, but I thought that's really cute. And then they look kind of a little, you know, more legit that way. I don't have to make the pot that way. And that's fun too. So I have those so far. Um, <clears throat> I was working on this cat a while back. It's a loaf, fat loaf cat. It's a tutorial here on YouTube. Um, the ones I remember, I will link below. Okay. Um, anyway, fat loaf cat. <laughs> it's so cute. <coughs> and I only made this one, and I think I'm going to make a couple out of, like, Bernat yarn. Maybe black. Um, or, like, a dark gray. I might just make a fun rainbow one. He has little ears and little feet. And his little tail, and he was super duper easy. And then I made little purple circles for eyes, and then I used some safety eyes and put it in the middle, so... He's kind of wild looking, but he is a cat. <laughs> so, and that's him. But yeah, it's like, the, I think it's a loaf cat crochet pattern. I have a few mushrooms. Um, this is one that I had the pieces made, but I didn't finish the mushroom. So I used purple sparkle, um, the Mary Maxim Glimmer yarn to stitch it together. So I have a little bling that way. It's just like a nude mushroom with some purple. Super cute. Um, I'm making a smiley face. I was gonna start out with the sunshine. Um, I have a pattern that I made a daisy out of and then um, like a daisy and a sunshine. And so anyways, that was my original plan was to make a sunshine and then I thought a smiley face would be really cute. So I still need to make his smile. And this is him. Just use Bernat. And then um, this is the Premier Just Yarn in charcoal for his eyes. So have a smile. So I'm going to make a couple of more of these because obviously this was pretty easy to do. And so, yes. Um, I made some of these. <coughs> I had this stewed completed the patriotic guy I didn't have his wings on so I added those and then I added just little kawaii eyes so because for some of them I crochet the eyes obviously for some of them I don't so this one I didn't <coughs> I thought he turned out super cute and then with this one I still need to make wings I'm gonna make some wings and then just um it's like an hour and a half up there and then I feel like I'll just kind of be sitting at the booth <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna make wings and take them to stitch on and just kind of do that because I already have a few bees and I don't want to put everything out on the table I'm gonna have some things underneath some inventory underneath the table and as things sell put them out so as I'm just sitting there hanging out one thing is add wings so this little dude and his little tiny kawaii eyes I like him. He needs wings. I made this guy, but I made his eyes. So, um, let's see. I have some tiny bees. They made this is the um, just just Chan the premier just Chanel from Dollar Tree. So a black and yellow black and yellow obviously they said they need wings black and purple black and purple and then I made this dude I was gonna go for a gummy worm and then I started changing colors and I was like well duh like gummy worms are two colors but anyway so he's just like a creepy worm not very creepy but he's quiet eyes on him too it's still worm um but with some of the bees I'm 
Maybe we'll go back and do like an inventory of everything. This is just what I've made in the last little bit. So there's more in here. This was the top and the bottom of a mushroom that I had made a while back. I just went ahead and stitched those together. So there's another mushroom that I can just throw in a little mushroom bucket. So that's exciting. Um, this is one of the little monsters. I've added the clips and so that way they have, I just added this and then the little clips so that way they're like little backpack buddies now, which I think adds just a little extra fun to them. So I have that backpack buddy. Here. So I was thinking about the little bees. These little dudes. He does have eyes. I couldn't remember if they had eyes or not. But the little bitty bee that I had last time, I made him into a backpack buddy. So this one's bigger. So I may make some smaller ones. Make some little, some more of these. Um, I made this one into one. The purple. There we go. And couple scrunchies because I needed a couple scrunchies. Um, and this one with the rainbow and the black. This one with the rainbow and the purple. And then, let's see, I made this. And I think everything else is stuff that y'all have seen, like some little, yeah go through all the stuff just because but this little jellyfish I was gonna make it into an octopus and then I didn't and so I just added little tentacles but he had a little just a little random jellyfish just to put in the bucket and then I made this bigger jellyfish and made his eyes and he looks kind of creepy and I kind of like him but I made him out of Bernat yarn I kind of like him though but anyway so I have those that I made in the last little bit. So that's some more things in to add. So there's some more backpack buddies. Um, a scrunchy cat. I need to fix his little eyeballs though. Um, mushrooms, a worm, Herman the worm, and different things like that. And then like I said, some succulents. So I'm gonna have several succulents setting out, which I think will be good. Well, several succulents and then some more to put out, which I think will be a really good thing little mushrooms and a little bucket it's like a rainbow color bunches of different mushrooms all together and then also um just a minute ago why not i started a pop tart <laughs> so um same thing have just like a few of these maybe because they it's gonna whip up real fast um you i'm using big twist value in way too dark of a color in camel i need a lighter color really burnt but I like a really burnt pop tart so I think it's okay I'm just gonna put like a solid pink or a solid white or I mean solid pink or solid purple or something over it and then maybe add some sprinkles and put the two together and put some stuffing in it and then just have a couple pop tarts I don't know if I'm gonna make faces on them or just make them pop tarts I thought about making some foam covers I don't know and then I also want to make some um bags that you can put in your purse for like purse organizer because I have a couple of those in my purse and they're insanely handy and so I thought that would be good just like a couple of purse organizers so um, I'm getting nervous but yeah as a treat because you've watched this long into it all let's go check out the yarn wall because it's pretty cool Yay, sneak peeks are fun. All right, so here's what we have so far of the rainbow yarn. Um, well, it's not quite a rainbow yet, trust me. There are more bags of yarn. <laughs> so, anyway, we have so far sort of ish rainbow. And do you guys know about the Dramamine? If not, hi, you must be new. Sorry, just take your Dramamine first. I have things, this is my family project. <laughs> These are things that, I don't know. These aren't gonna stay in here because that's just not gonna work. That takes up way too much room. And these are things that are decorations, super important things. So yes, sorry about the dizziness. Sorry about the Dramamine. It's fine, so you guys right here. Ooh, okay. See, 
bags of yarn. Fret not, everyone. There are bags of yarn. So, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, for sure. There's <laughs> bags of yarn. So, um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so it is Tuesday. I'm also filming this, like, as I'm kind of putting the things up. I'm not doing anything very exciting. Derek built the shelf for me. He's bringing the yarn in for me, and I'm slowly just being like, this is blue. So is this, and adding it to a pile and putting it in a cube. So, um, otherwise, working on crochet projects, like, it's going out of style. I need to make some gnomes and gnome hats, and I say that every single time before craft fair and I don't do those things so I really hope to do those things this time um <clears throat> but I will bring you all along when we go because it's gonna be a pretty big deal um so yeah it's three days and it's it's a big one um very nervous <laughs> trying to shake all that out um shake the nerves out but I think once I kind of set the table up and know exactly what I'm dealing with, I think that'll be better. Except plus I've added some random things, a couple extra, or a couple new amigurumi things, stuff like that. Um, so I think that'll be good. I don't, I don't know at this point. My goodness gracious. Um, we'll see. So, um, crunch time, just a few days until craft fair, like a major, big, huge craft fair. Um, so yeah, we will see. Um, I have yarn fuzzes all over my pants from that Chanel yarn. Don't wear black and wear and mess with Chanel yarn. Now we know. Um, I have several headbands, so I think I'm good there. Um, so I need to make a few more scrunchies. I would like to make some more washcloths, but I'm, I may just sit there and make washcloths just like I sat there and put bee wings on. That's very possible. So I thought a couple pop tarts would be really fun though. Just why not, you know? Um, I also made, I didn't show you guys that and it's in a different bag. I will show you all. Um, I used some granny squares and made like a little like side satchel. Like it looks kind of almost like a fanny pack and it's really cute. And I think I'm gonna make another one or two of those. And I used some granny squares to make a really cute fringe top because I've noticed through like the fashion stuff and going to stores that granny squares are very very in right now and they're very easy to make so um i almost had the shirt finished and then was just looking at the pattern and realized i stitched it on the wrong side of the square so i have to cut that off but that's all right um but that is a really easy top to make it's just eight granny squares and some fringe and some straps and so i think i want to make a couple of those um but yeah, just some like really easy little granny square. Like I said, makeup or phone or phone. Yeah, I guess for your phone. But makeup um, bags or purse dividers. I think that would be good. I see granny squares all over and it just, it cracks me up because they're in and we made it y'all. We made it fashion. So, all right. <laughs> anyway, so I'll let you guys go. Like I said, I just... A mini crochet ramblings, craft fair, I suppose, crochet ramblings to show you guys kind of where I'm at, how things are, what things look like around her. Um, yeah, because I'm freaking out. So I just needed to say hello from the yarn corner. It's officially almost a rainbow yarn corner. Eek. So that's something. And then I'm going to go back to watching ridiculous television and silly movies and crocheting so that is my day this is what i'm doing um as far as our family blanket i will probably make a video for that tomorrow um just because like i said the kiddos aren't here so like i feel like every other day thing would probably be best and you guys can send me your pictures if you want also tomorrow it's crochet and tell if y'all would like to you still have time to send in crochet and tell photos i have several of them but if you would like to send them in you still have time so all right and I will add in all the spooky stuff too to crochet and tell, obviously. All right. So I thank you all so very much for listening to my crochet ramblings <laughs> and looking at my things. I hope you all have an amazing day. Sorry, this was just kind of a quick 
all over the place thing, but that's, this video is a great representation of my brain. It's like I have this thing and this thing and this thing, and I don't know what else to do. And there's yarn and that's, yep, that's pretty much where I'm at. Panic mode is setting in, so. All right, <laughs> so thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. I will talk to you all real soon.